Alright guys. So we got the 76ers. Oof. These guys, I think we lost them last time. That sucks. The 2K Sports right, guys. Pre-Game Show. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to 2K Sports. I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. And tonight, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Oklahoma City Thunder in their house, Chesapeake Energy Arena. And for Oklahoma City, they lost their first matchup against these guys. This, their final game against them in the regular season, looking to finish with a split. And here we go in a league of teams that love to work the perimeter. Tonight we feature two teams that get it done in the post. This is a game, Shaq, and I know you love to watch. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to win this, then we're going to win, and we're going to leave. Because we're going to be winners. We're going to be winners. Like 400 VC right now. I'm saving it up for uh, another three pointer. I might just get two stamina upgrades. So I, I just want to get the 70 overall so I get the badges. So I might just do that. We'll get something cheap on. Then we'll save up three pointer. Because we're going to have to upgrade them all eventually, so you might as well. And our stamina sucks anyway. Not upgrade strength. I don't know. Whatever gets us two. Two upgrades. And I just want to be level 70. I'm at roll 70. I know. I feel less noobish because I will, I'll be out of this. Um, From the plains of Oklahoma, kind of welcome high above me. downtown Oklahoma City. We are nearly ready for the tip off, but Good evening. thanks to you and get, Philly um, Love guys that work 80, hard. Uh, great attitude to, to build the best. team around for sure. And as we get this far into the season, Clark, we start to hear trade rumors float around. Did, did you ever hear your a different look for Oklahoma City? DJ is checked in for cancer. McDermott comes in for Patrick Patterson. And it's Andre this? Robertson in for Alex Abrinas. Robert Covington's checked in for Philadelphia. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Collins and Luwamu team together to make the backcourt. Inside we have Simmons and Okafor, and it's Covington in at the small forward position. Here's George. No good on that one. Oh. And Philadelphia the other way now. It's the last the game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. And, and always tough on the road, but that attack mindset that they brought offensively, I really We're ahead, don't like that like, set them apart. And what stood out to me, game. Greg, was the aggressiveness. I knew they had to step up the game. Seemed like they in. just were eager to get it done, wanted it a tad more than the other team. Oh, I was well, so you, close. You to have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, out. particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone really playing with a lot of energy here at the start and, and didn't do anything fancy there but didn't need to nope he his only concern right now is getting the points on the board and i, I don't mean style points hey i thought there was some style there guys what are you guys looking at i mean it was still a pretty sweet flavorful one hand flush covington wide open he fires here's simmons up and in on the lane Dang it. Simmons got his second basket of the night. What an incredible effort from Simmons, using his length extremely well when he's crashing the glass. DJ kicks to Roberson. Oklahoma City moving it around. And he could not get that one to go. What a contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Jaleel Okafor. Oklahoma City shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. And for the Sixers, trust the process was the motto yeah. and the process now finally bearing fruit you see the young talent now it's about figuring out how all these pieces fit together catching up on the changes for oklahoma city grant he's checked in for mcdermott wells comes in for george and it's felton in for russell westbrook holmes passes to johnson one up one down two points Dang. with his first shot this game 
You were talking about the fit for these young Sixers. A bit of a log jam in recent seasons in their front court. Yeah, I mean, they were in talent acquisition mode, just going for the best player available. And now as they see things taking shape, it's time to try and balance the roster. Here's the teardrop and the layup good by Covington. What a run. And now all of a sudden they're right back in it. They're not going away quietly, Craig. If they go down, they're going to go down fighting and swinging. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen fast, for the Oklahoma City. I could have done that better, but I got to get it. JJ Redick, a focal this point in his tenure with the Duke Blue I think I'll forever be associated. No. And we're so through we the first half of the game. Play all game. Play more all game. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here. I can do another game. I get a lot more points. And the Thunder oh, going with the whole new group out there. Oh, and then for Philadelphia. Johnson, he's checked in for Sharich. Robert Covington comes in for J.J. Reddick. And it's T.J. McConnell in for Fultz. Grant is they need up me. there with Ferguson. Then it's D.J. Then mm, there's Felton. Weapon. And it's Roberson in at the two. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Simmons absolutely in his comfort zone near the rim. I mean, uses his body extremely well and typically gets exactly the kind of shot he wants. Whoa. Bro. Back to Roberson. Felton dishes to DJ. And he drops in the window yeah. off the glass. And the Thunder lead by 10. I'll tell you what, the energy in this arena, you can feel it. Big time. I mean, it's amazing. Their crowd letting them hear it. And that's always inspiring. They want to see this thing get wrapped up. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Paul George. And to me, the best part of his game has been the work he's done inside. I mean, slashing, driving the lane, attacking the basket at every chance. When he's had an opening, he's taken it. Coming into this game, he'd been having a tough stretch. We all know that, but not anymore. He's back at his best, and I think wow. it's safe to you say it that slump second. is over. And that's his role. Well, that's when Carroll's at hmm. his best, the catch and shoot. So it's Oklahoma City picking up the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked. Folks, that's going to do it for now. For Clark Kellogg. All right, guys. So we're getting, going against the Wizards. Oh, they do better than us. No. We can't allow that. It's not good. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hey, Ernie Johnson here, and I'm joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. And coming right up, we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Wizards in Washington. Well, for Washington, 5-5 five and five over their last 10 games. But they're not satisfied with 500 ball. Looking to tack one onto the win tally tonight. And Kenny, oh, we have lots to talk about. One thing coming up on the horizon, the trade deadline. Hmm. Front offices have had time to evaluate rosters. What are your feelings about blockbuster in-season trades? Huge deals are rare in the season, I mean. Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA.
All right, guys. Thanks for joining us live for NBA this. basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan. We've got Chris Weber and Greg Anthony with us. And from the sideline, we'll be hearing from David Aldridge. And, of course, NBA players have all reached this pinnacle this through club. dedication, through very hard work. Chris, can you talk about the hard work and effort that, that goes into playing and succeeding at this NBA level? No. Well, if, if you're in high school or, or middle school, when your friends are uh, yeah. at, at the movies, you're on the basketball court. When your friends are hanging out at a party, you're at the basketball court. When your friends and his family are on vacation, you're at the basketball court. I don't think uh, many people yeah. understand the dedication. You know, for many guys, it's more than four hours a day in the gym. And a lot of that is just sitting in the, the gym, just smelling the gym. You know, of course, you're going to work out. Of course, you're going to shoot. But it's everything can't, can't basketball. Stand the you know, on my wall, I had Dominique, Center Magic, Blur. Bird. I had all these guys, Isaiah, uh, for no. magazines. And I would put their pictures on my wall and work out and do push ups. Oh, I mean, I would, yeah. No, I would know their moves. I would know everything. You know, I remember Ken. Kenny Smith, after his dunk contest, he stood at the free throw line and threw the ball between his legs, threw it off the backboard and dunked. I went in the backyard in Detroit, shoveled the snow, and we worked on that dunk all night, freezing. I mean, you have to love it. So, you know, when you love something, my father taught well, me it's not work. Steal. And so uh, you got to start with the love and uh, then all the yeah, other work and dedication is just, is just part of the journey. I love the message, but boy, I like that Kenny Smith story. That is that is a great, great story. Berea kicks to Frazier. Mm -hmm. Morris outside. Shot clock at five. Berea with it. Now defended by McDermott. Off the screen. Will not go. Yeah. This is off the front iron. Oklahoma City leading by nine. Fades away. The offensive Aww. rebound. Felton kicks to DJ. Berea against Felton. Rovers on the pass to DJ. No. Throw it. In time. Oh. Paul George, he's been the guy making things happen for Oklahoma City. For moments during that quarter, it felt like a one-man wrecking crew. It seemed he was doing everything out there. We come back right after this. And John Wall spoke prior to the game. He talked about the identity of the Wizards team. Defensively, just being that gritty and grimy team that uh, makes it tough for teams to score in the paint. Uh, I think we can be a very great team. The Wizards not exactly the first team that you think of when it comes to gritty and grimy team defense, but maybe he's really got a point here on how tough the Washington defense can be. And you don't get there without. Yeah. So, guys, let's, let's just guess how this game's going. Basically, uh, for once, we're playing a lot more than we would. So, oh, we should get about 10 points. So, we can get our average up. Okay. I don't know why I wouldn't discuss it. I'm especially second, impressed know. that Wall so what are you doing? that mindset. Let me get some points. Welcome back, everyone. A lopsided first quarter in the books already as we start this oh, second Will's quarter. Oh, Will's got it. Never mind. And when you consider how the Thunder are doing, guys. You got the rebound. Think? I think they play great D. Is he in every time we're in? Sure he is. Easy early on. Yeah, closing Ooh. down the lane, closing out on perimeter shooters. Interesting first Here we go. quarter. J.J. Barea is out there with Frazier. Then there's Ubra. Nah. And it's Smith. And it's Gortat in at the four slot. That's the five on the four for the Wizards. A lot of history here with the Wizards and Washington. A lot of great players have worn the jersey yourself, including Chris. Do you, do you have a favorite Wizards bullet player you like to watch? Oh, wow. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I did. Uh, Juwan Howard, I, I love watching him go to work in that great all-star season that he had. Uh, Wes Unsell, he's had a huge Ooh. influence on Reach so many foul. Guys. Bradley Beal, he's been the guy making things happen for Wait, the Washington they, Wizards. Wait, don't I get to shoot? Or, I don't know. They hit a foul on me, it's like... Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out a win. And so it's Washington who scraped by with the win. Oh, dang it. Not to play much. one at home that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate x-factor all right guys so we're gonna get some nuggets chicken nuggets no. it's the 2k sports pregame show Hey, Ernie Johnson here, and I'm joined by Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Oklahoma City Thunder playing against the Denver Nuggets at Pepsi Center. For the Nuggets, they're not satisfied with the record over the last, last 10 games. Under 500 basketball, just not good enough. Looking to improve tonight. And we'll get to see Paul Millsap tonight with, uh, with Paul. You know, he's a guy who entered the league as... A guy who would grind it out on the block, but he's transformed himself into a stretch four the last few seasons. How hard is it to make that change as a big man? Well, I'm not a shooter, Ernie. I'm a prolific MF scorer. What's MF stands for most frequently. Okay. But I do know for a fact, you don't get a good shot overnight. It takes time and effort. He's... All right, guys, let's do this. Ooh. Ooh, ruffles, drink them ruffles. Ruffles good for you. Sponsored by Ruff Nuts Game. It's sponsored game time by Denver sponsor. as the crowd and with the sponsor. Well, guys, thank you, DA. And Millsap is as crafty as it gets on defense. One of the most underrated players in the game. And coming up right around the corner of the All-Star break, Doris, the teams that are now firing an all -star. Big group substitution here for oh, Denver. Tad. Plumley is checked in for Jokic. Trey Lyles comes in for Kenneth Faree. Martin's checked in for Harris. West and Brooks. Murray's subbed in for Moutier. And then for Oklahoma City, DJ is checked in for Ennis Cantor. Jeremy Grant comes in for Patrick Patterson. And it's Andre Robertson in no. for Alex Abrinas. So for Oklahoma City right now, Westbrook and Robertson are the backcourt pair. EJ out there with Grant. And it's George in at the small forward position. Pass to Wiles. The baseline jumper goes oh, dang down. It. And the precise passing of Murray, really moving the ball well around the floor. And George kicks to Westbrook. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Robertson can't hit. Denver in the lead. No. In the corner, Murray with it. Back to Barton. 
and we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. No set misses. Okay. And even with good Robert coverage defensively yeah. that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Elbow jumper, Dang. no good from DJ. That's an example of great defense. His teammates love that about him. Always why the shooter struggle against this guy. Here's Plumley. Good Dang for the it. basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. George against Millsap. George passes to DJ. Shoots from 12. Moves back up. Get it. And it's finished off yeah. by Grant as he lays it in. Well, this is why Jeremy Grant's size is important. Stretches out beautifully whenever he's close to the rack. Murray kicks to Millsap. Over George. And Denver again with the bucket. Nice piece of work there. Get yourself a little space and pull the trigger. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Robertson dishes to DJ. Up and in yeah. on the layup. I'd say he's got a good grasp of low post offense. DJ doing work in the interior. Martin passes to Plumley. Yeah. Here's Murray. Here's Millsap. Miles. No. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? And now that we've gotten a chance to see it in slow-mo, I think the ruling has to be that he did not beat the buzzer with that shot. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks like they got it right this time. No basket. The clock had expired while the ball was still in his hands. Yeah, and even if they don't show it, I know the refs are proud of themselves after a replay proves them right. They're like, And so both teams trading buckets as we end the first quarter. Nuggets lead by two. From the Pepsi Center in downtown Denver, we're back in a moment. Mm. No. Oh, okay, good. Finally hooked. So that is like goes slow. I think it's loading up. Up to this point, a closely contested game as we start the second quarter. And when you consider how Denver is doing, guys. Yeah. And we're through the first oh, the one ahead. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, you don't get the play for emotion unless you're like eight, eight, five. For the Nuggets, Mason Plumley's checked that. in for Reed. Uh, this time Will you have Martin to be like, in for Harris. you have to And Murray's the subbed in for Emmanuel Moutier. And the Gold Thunder with some edition. changes. And for Oklahoma City. Belton is out there with Wells. Then it's DJ. Go, 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 go. Then it's McDermott. And it's Good Ferguson defense. in at the three spot. Murray Our gets to Millsap. Takes the 12-footer and hits. Love the work there. They got the most out of that possession. For Oklahoma City, their last game was a loss to Washington. DJ with it. He's against Jokic. Can't wow. cash in up close on the shot from DJ. That's a pretty bad. Millsap passes to Jokic. And it's DJ with the rebound. Yeah. Dang it. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, I tried, guys. If we were betting by overhauls, I'd probably get better stats, but you know. That dude's jumpy jumps. Alright, guys. So, we're going to get some pedicans. Let's do this.
It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hello, basketball fans. I'm Ernie Johnson, welcoming you to 2K Sports. I'm here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's basketball out in Oklahoma City, Chesapeake Energy Arena to be exact. We'll see the Thunder go up against the New Orleans Pelicans. New Orleans is one of the teams right now playing very, very consistently. They are really playing at a high level right now. Going 8-1 and one over the last nine games. Should be an interesting evening. Two teams that like to slow things down a bit. Ernie, you sound like a record that's going, to, that's going wrong. Yeah. Man, need to speed you up. Put, Kenny, that, put that battery in your back. What are some of the keys to running a really good half-court offense? Why are you slowing me down, Ernie? Patience. Got to have patience. Like, you have, to have to have, you have to have the kind of patience that it takes to sit next to you and Shaq right now while you guys are really making me feel uncomfortable with your slow motion manners. Well, Ernie, he didn't answer the question. Oh, right. my goodness. You have to value each possession because you may not get a lot of them. That's the fastest I've heard that, Shaq Ernie, speak. Offensive rebounding <laughs> can change a game. Oh. Excellent. Thank you, Ernie. That's actually was, yeah, you need to speak like that more often. Let's go courtside to Kevin. Kevin Harlan. Harlan. I'm the only one in fast motion here. (laughs) Okay, that one was actually interesting. Most of the time I scale when it gets to uh, 100%, but I I was watching Shaq and I was like, oh, yeah, I got to watch this. I just gotta see, see Shaq do s- slow motion. <laughs> That's what was keeping me entertained there. <laughs> slow motion. Turns out this game just gonna start going in slow motion. What up, Sam? DJ. <laughs> Go get them season ticket holders what they paid for, boy. Season tickets. It's be nice to sit during the game. Actually, you know, guys, uh, when the second season comes, so I'm thinking the second season is going to be cut scenes at all, but I don't know. I'm about to see. I'll probably be doing start doing games on my own time. So uh, instead of recording every single game, I'll actually have time to actually do the other games. So yeah, we'll be even more no life. <laughs> So I have the time to actually do that. <laughs> you know. Seems like we've been here before. And now, before we... Well, thank you, David. Let's do this. A marquee matchup tonight. Two great centers going head-to-head. Brent, talk about the attributes scouts are looking for out of modern-day centers. I think one of the things that they look for first... Mm-hmm. No. A different look for Oklahoma City. Steven Adams, he's checked in. No, oh, Anthony DJ Davis. Dang, for Patrick he's Patterson. 95 overall. And it's Andre Robertson in for Alex Abrinas. Tony Allen's checked in for the Pelicans. Setting the floor now for the Pelicans. The bigs inside, Davis and Cousins. Holiday out there with Jordan Crawford. Davis, and it's Allen in at the three, the small forward. So Picks it out to Crawford. Two on the clock. Shoots from 14. And no good. Ooh. Trying to use the glass. And Still rebound. Moving his feet there, staying right on top of the shooter. Oh, man. Oh, oh are okay Cousins. Giving Marcus up Cousins, no. Shot. In this case, they contest Don't do that, man. Holiday, the pass to Cousins. And here's Holiday. In the game against Sacramento, very impressive. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. Cousins converts despite Dang being it. bodied up by the defense there. He is just so physical and Dang hard it. to contain. A different look for Oklahoma City. Wells comes in for George. And it's Felton in for Russell Westbrook. And then for New Orleans, Dwayne Dedmon's checked in for Anthony Davis. Miller comes in for Jordan Crawford. Rajon Rondo is subbed in for Drew Holiday. Yep, that one yeah. goes in there. Right through the middle. From DJ, clear contact on the shot, but he just stays with it. <laughs> they had like a big gap now in the middle. Now has a chance for the end one. And oh, this is his first trip to the line tonight. 
numbers this year at the line below 70 so when he's getting to the line not nearly as effective as you'd like there's a screen Come on. it's Allen with the drive and he makes that oh. one Allen's got his first Tied bucket of the night the Thunder have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter Felton kicks to DJ and he drops in the yeah. way off the glass not going to settle for a jump shot. DJ being ultra aggressive right there, going straight down the lane on the drive. Rondo kicks to Deadman. And it's Miller in the corner. New Orleans moving it around. No good from Cousins. DJ with it. Cousins is there. Yeah. And that one's good. DJ. DJ's got his third basket of the night. He's a smooth operator in the paint, and DJ making the most of the high percentage shot in tight. Miller kicks to Ronda. Mm. Now no cousins. The cousins. No cousins. It's in. That's his third field goal of the game. He's three for five. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Oops. Sorry. Robertson dishes to DJ. Mm. Adams oh. down low. Get him in. Oh, and the buzzer Peters yeah. good. And they make sure to get the last shot of the quarter there. Nicely done. Yeah, good awareness there to beat the clock. Now they have no shortage of scoring. That was here. good. That was good. That was good quarter. And a moment now to hear from this Steven Adams tough. as he reflects back in a life growing up. So like the youngest over there has to do hard <laughs> to Paul George, oh, he's wow. been the guy Half making mm -hmm. things happen for the Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime, so. Halftime stats. It's gonna be. If we get in it, and we gotta get to a B. We don't usually get fast break scores, but we did in this one. And Oklahoma City oh, we got a minute. Uh, we should be able to get it there. some points. New Orleans hopefully. also making some changes. Or at least to get to a B. Wayne Dedman's checked in for Cousins. Allen comes in for Hill. We're usually like Rondo the lowest overall. In for Jordan it sucks. Cup. And this is what they wanted i mean to announce their presence in this no matchup davis no davis no very decisive it can definitely be considered a statement win oh for winning, the never mind you they can had do a that. fantastic play from the bench and uh, this team has great depth and they showed it in this game and so it'll boost this year's win total for them to 29 and in a three-game season series no. they take the first two and certainly They've had the edge in this matchup. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a <laughs> really phenomenal all-around game for Ennis Cantor. Just really loved his activity level here tonight. Constantly mixed it up, and he threw himself into a lot of plays. So for New Orleans Grant, right now, what you doing, man? Rajon Rondo is out there with Holiday. That's Tony Allen. Then it's Anthony Davis. And it's Deadman in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And Allen, just an incredible defender has a grit and grind mentality and uses his speed and strong hands to just annoy offensive players catching up on the changes for new orleans solomon hill he's checked in for anthony davis and he subbed in for true holiday oh, oh, so close. On the way up that'll give him two chances at the free throw line here and that's the result that you're going to get when you drive yeah. into the lane before the d can get themselves into position and DJ's not waiting around. He's on his way to the free throw line. Oh. He's off on the second. Rondo against Felton. Rondo kicks to Hill. Fires for three. And no good that time. Oh. So no problem for Oklahoma City as they get the win. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game. And to have that. Here's some good XP. See, when he gets some points, you get better XP. This is Kevin Arlen saying, thanks for watching. See you later. Yeah, look at that XP. Yeah, look at that go up. Better than usual. 3.1 now.
It's really hard to get your points for game up. I don't think I can do it by the end of the season. It's like 16 points per game. No matter what I'm getting. It's probably the best I can get up is 5 per game. What should you have right now? I'll assume we could probably upgrade a 3 pointer again. Yeah, I think they did an update where you can actually see your uh, what it's upgrading now. Which is awesome. So there you go.